Hey you guys, Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV and today we're going to be taking a look at Nugent Audio's SEQS or their Linear Phase Spline EQ. So this is a little bit different than most mastering grade EQs, but this is actually a really powerful way of using it. Unlike most EQs where you have very select bands and you're able to select between them, usually you have only a set amount. This is very different. This takes the idea of using a spline or basically like a spine style thing where everything's linked together. And as you see, as I'm swooping across, they all change and kind of configure to whatever is the smoothest and best way to achieve the goal that you're trying to do. Now, some people may think, why would I want to do this? Well, this is actually a really natural and clean and clear sound. You're able to actually go through many different ones. If we go from the different presets, you can see how they have ones that are basically from octaves. And you can also go all the way from more tight ones. You can get more and more exact. Now, these thirds are kind of like blocks because it is doing it by thirds. And then we have the chromatic, which is more precise. And we have even the sixth, which is extremely tight. We can also see that when we have the bands for the analysis. So uh, I'm going to reset this. So you see the analyzer right here? So if you turn on the bands, boom. You can see everything by thirds. I find that to be very powerful. Another cool thing is you can turn on and off up to three different channels. And all you have to do if you want to do that is you just click right here on and off. Um, you can assign them to be either one, two, three. They can either be left, right, left or right, and M, S, or mid-side. I think for this video, we're just going to stick to left, right on channel one, and we're going to turn these off. You also have a depth control and a steepness control. Let me show you what that does. Depth control basically allows you to either reverse what you're doing or really dig into it and really like kind of like add more of whatever you're doing. And then we will just have to reset the curves. And then while the steepness allows you to control the sharpness of the curves or make them extremely smooth. You also have lots of cool things like you have zones where you can basically tell the uh, EQ to only be able to affect the bands within a certain zone or you can even exclude them. So whatever's in those zones will not be touched while everything else is able to be altered. So what we're going to do is we're going to reset the curves. And I want to show you guys how smooth this sounds and how easy it is to use. So we are just going to play on this mix. And right around here, there's going to be a little resonant peak. The vocal just had this resonance in the room. And we're going to try to get rid of it. And I'm going to show you guys how smooth this sounds. I'm thinking it's right around here. Yeah, right there. And right here. There it is. See how cool that is. As I'm changing this and I'm thinking like it's a little bit here, but it's also here. It's also here. It's just slowly snapping them into, into the grid. We're going to also do that with the low end. I want to bump this up just a tiny bit. And you see how I'm zoomed in kind of like I'm doing about a uh, 5 dB boost. I think that's a little bit much. If we go here to the sides and let's reset these bands. And all you do is just hold control and click. Let's go to these sides. Let's unlock the scroll. And we can actually bump this up and down to give us more or less headroom. I'm thinking I want to do a maximum of 6 dB boost and cut. Reset the curve. Lock the scrolling. Also, one thing to note is right here at the very end, these little arrows are high and low pass filters, which are very smooth and very easy to use. So let's just listen to this one more time. Let's listen to it, bypass it. So right about there is where it's at. So we're going to zoom into here. Start it right here. Away. 
That sounds good, and then we're gonna bypass it. I want you to listen how it has this like ringing resonance. You hear that? It smooths it out very, very cleanly. This is a very invisible and clean EQ. It doesn't sound like it's EQing anything. It just sounds like it's smoothing things out. Anyway, that's it for this video. This is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. See you guys later. Bye.